Hello and welcome back, so today we're doing another world coin hunt. These are coins that I bought in a random lot from eBay. We've got through quite a fair few of them, but not got much left. Uh, but a fair few episodes still to go, I imagine. Also where I've been doing the treasures from the PA box videos on a Sunday sometimes, instead of the world coin hunts, that's adding to the longevity of this bag. But I hope you guys have been enjoying the treasures from the PA box. They're very similar sort of hunts to the... Um, World coins and it's just going through coins that were sent into the peer box and there's been some fascinating and amazing coins coming through uh, but I'm away at the Royal Mint this weekend so for the sake of my time I'm going to do a world coin hunt. <laughs> Mix it up a bit. So I look at my new mister page just at the start um, to show you how my collection looks at the start of the hunt. Hopefully we'll find some new countries, new coins, new denominations, mint marks, anything new is a good find um but we should be lucky dip into the bag we'll return to this screenshot at the end of the video to see how the hunt has affected my collection but without further ado let's get into these coins so our first coin hails from brazil hmm. let's get the focus right we don't have many south american coins in the grand scheme of things so it's always nice finding a south american one this is a 10 centavos from 2005 I had been on a bit of a hot streak with Argentinian coins recently, but it's nice to find one from Brazil. Not one that I recognise, so that could be a new coin. Cool design as well. We have got two... Mm. Ukraine? Yes, Ukraine, 2010. So it's from Ukraine, which means the denomination is... Oh, I know this. Come on. Um, I'm racking my brains now, trying to remember. This is not Stotinky, is it? Is it Stotinky? Maybe. Pass. The annotations will tell you. Uh, oh, look. Is that 10 rupees? By Metallic. Very cool. Indian, 2012. You can see a little mint mark below the 2012 there. You got stars and diamonds, dots. Some, some of them I think more minted the raw mint. Some in Moscow, Ottawa. I think I remember seeing the mint mark for in the past. Very cool. And biometallic coins are pretty cool as well. Quite happy to find one of them. Uh, we've got a French coin. So we found tons of French coins in the world hunt. They seem just to be a very common uh, coin to find in these world coin bags that I buy. So twenty centimes, nineteen ninety-two, French. Next, uh, 50 centavos. This might be South American as well. 1994. It is also from Brazil. Very cool. Neat sort of hatching across the design as well. Not a coin I recognize from previous hunts. But that's a neat find nonetheless. Next up, we've got a coin from Malta, 1995. Two cents. What well, looks like an olive branch, potentially. Uh, we've got an Italian, 200 lira, 1978. Big old date run to be found in these coins. Very cool. I do quite like the commemorative 200 liras from Italy. I've had a, f had a fair few of them. Some really epic designs. Um, I believe this is Greeks. Greek, one drachma maybe. 1954, Holy Toledo. Very cool, I think it's a drachma. If my memory serves, which often it doesn't. But as I said, the annotations will tell you what you need to know. We've got a Polish, lots of grotty Polish coins in this bag, 2015. Cool colouring, to be fair. Five grush. Lovely. We're back to France with a Frank. Yeah, Frank. 1961, you can see a little owl on the coin there. You've got owls, dolphins and bees, depending what years the coin was released in. Adds a bit of variety. Um, so we're back to India with one rupee from 1985. Look, it's got a little H min mark there. Or is it an M? Hmm. That'd be something for the research and the editing. India, very cool sort of shape. 
many times have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is a heptagon inside this circular coin. It's got a security ridge around the rim as well. That's really neat. I really like that one. Very cool. I can't wait to find out what that little mint mark is. H. Hyderabad? Surely not. Hyderabad mint mark is what? A star on more modern coins. Maybe it's maybe it is on this one though. Uh, we've got another French Tencent Teams 1993. You can see there. What is that? Is it a dolphin? Yeah, it's the dolphin. Uh, another five grosh, much cleaner one than the previous one we found. Polish 2013. Pretty cool. Back to France with a franc, 1961. You can see the owl there. French, we found tons of them. Next. Uh, one dollar, 1998, with some Asian writing at the top. It's going to be what, Hong Kong, China? Hong Kong! What a guess. With a nice little flower in the middle. Again, Hong Kong, a country I've had lots of older coins from. But not as many modern ones. Uh, back in Italy. Another 200 lira, 1978. Is that the same year as we've already had today? Is it? It is. Bizarre. I was only just saying how many years this has been minted on the coins, had been minted on the coins for. The variety of um, years to find. We have got Indian, 2009. One rupee. Telling you to thumbs the video up. <laughs> The little mint mark there, the little dot, I believe to be Noida. I, think, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. Uh, Malaysian, 10 sen, 1992. Cool little coin. Look at that. I wonder what that is. It looks like um, one of those wooden blocks you put incense sticks in and burn them. That's neat. Uh, we've got, mm, oh, it's Turkish. I thought it'd be older, just the colouring, but obviously not, just a bit battered. Five Kuruc, 2011. Turkey, a country we've seen not a lot of coins from, but a lot of the same coins, it feels like. Uh, Bank Pochi, uh, Russia, 2011. It's two-headed eagle, very creepy. 10 rubles. I'm trying to show you the security feature on the inside of the 10. At certain angles you can see the lettering. I'm struggling to show you on the video, but I assure you it is there. Unless it's not. <laughs> we are back to France with another franc from 1960. French. I've got under them. Next. Uh, Spanish, five pesetas. So, on the obverse, it'll have a year there, 1980. But with the Spanish coins, this little star here will have a number in it with the actual year of minting. So you can just about make out some numbers there, 82, 87, something like that. So that is why the in the annotations, the year of mintage, it's probably going to be different from that year. I don't know why they do on Spanish coins. I'd be interested to know, to be fair. Pretty neat. Look at that. Well, that's got some interesting symbols around the edge, hasn't it? Two somethings. A little mint mark there. DM. Hmm. 2004. Oh, look, it's Mexican. How cool is that? A bimetallic, this eagle eating the snake. 
So it'd be, is it pesos in Mexico? That M mint mark, I, I recognize it. Is it the Moscow mint? I don't think it is, no. OM. Ottawa mint? Is it from, in, from Canada? I don't know. I can't wait to find out though. But look at all these cool symbols around the rim though. Very neat, very shiny outer compared to the rather dull inner. Uh, we've got Belgian, five francs. Obviously with Belgian coins, you've got the French and the Dutch spelling of Belgium to add a bit of variety into the hunt. And this is from 1977. There we go, Belgium's a country we've had a fair few coins from to be fair. Uh, we're back to Italy. Now, is it going to be the Italian Stallion, or is it going to be the Tree Guardian? It's the Italian Stallion, 1966, 50 lira. Obviously, a picture taken from a time before health and safety. Um, Elizabeth II, Bermuda. Ooh, it's always nice finding these coins from these uh, like little island countries. They're generally low mintage if you can find mintages. But awesome designs as well, so let's see what we're going to get. Normally, like animals. Oh, we've got flowers. 1988, 10 cents. That feels like the size of a five pence. Maybe a little bit bigger. And a bit thicker, maybe. Very cool. Well, not a coin that I immediately recognize as well. Oh, talking of diddy little coins, that's one grosh, which would be Polish, from 2013. Very cool. Imagine having these in your pocket though. These little pea-sized coins. Uh, we're back in Russia for a 2012. 10 rubles. Now Russia is one of these countries it is hard to find mintages for. So if you don't have mintages for these coins, that is why. We've got... Five agarots. So this will be Israeli. Oh wow! Look at that. What is it? Is it like a a coin? Design on a coin? Well, whatever it is, that is pretty awesome. Lovely. Not a coin that I think I've seen either. Well, that's a bit odd with the little lines around that five. Well, I never. That's a pretty neat find. Uh, we've got a Romanian, 10 Bani. These do find their way into UK change from time to time. I find a fair few. 2005. Bit of a basic design. Um, back to Poland for 2014. Five Grosh. Getting a fair few Polish coins, aren't we? There we go. Oh, look at this. I do like animals on coins. I know I say it in lots of world coin hunts. Salmo Trita Fario. Hmm. Iceland? Republic Slovenia. Ooh, one tola from 1995. Well, that is a really cool design. I like that. And that a bonus to have some animals on it is very, very cool. Oh, lovely. That's a contester for find of the hunt. Um, we have got a pretty, pretty dirty 50 bin lira. So that's, what's a 50,000 lira? 2001 from Turkey. There we go. Pretty neat. If it didn't have that schmutz on it, it'd be even better. Uh, oh, we've got a George the Fifth. This is gonna be old then. A farthing. Well, we haven't had many UK coins, pre decimals. So 1918. Not the nicest of condition, I hasten to add. But very, very cool. That's 102 years old. Wowie. It's mental when these coins that are like over 100 years old, you just think the hands these might have been in, the history that coin has lived through. Unbelievable, right? 
We'll wrap up with one more. Unless it's French one, then we'll do a couple more. We finish off with a Russian. 2011. 10 rubles. Well, that's pretty neat. We've had a nice little variety of coins. What we'll do now is have a look at the front page of my new mister again to see how this hunt has affected my collection. Who knows, that could, I think that Slovenian coin could have been a new country. And there we have all the coins from today's hunt. Now, star pull is between a couple for me. It's either this Slovenian one or this Israeli one. I think I'm going to err on the side of this Israeli one because that is a very, very cool design. And I cannot wait to figure out what it is. But there we go. Well, do let me know down in the comments what was your favourite coin from this hunt. I'm always fascinated to know uh, what your favourite uh, coin was. Oh, very close third place was that Mexican one. Very, very cool design. But as ever, all that leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.